Welcome to Miss Planet this week. As you can see, this is the project we're working on. I got a wonderful um, request from um, a dad <laughs> saying, please help my wife. This is what I want for my little princess's baby shower that's coming soon. So I told him it'd be my pleasure to help his wife to let her know she can do it. So this was their inspiration picture. How do you think we did? I'm pretty pleased with it. So if you'd like to make this with me and spend a little time, let's get our supplies next and let's get started. I'll see you in two shakes. All right, so funny story. When I got the post from the dad, he posted on our Facebook. And for everyone out there, if you have a project we would you would like us to do a tutorial on, uh, post your picture and your request on our, either our Facebook page or you can join our DIY community on MissPlanet.com and you can upload your picture as well as your request there too. So anyway, he posts his request because he says that his wife is a self-proclaimed non-DIYer. I don't believe it. I think everybody has a little DIYer in them somewhere. So he, he said, can you please do a video so that she knows she can do it herself? My pleasure. So here it goes. Uh, let's see what we're going to use. So this is basically a glass, a tumbler that I got at the dollar store. And then here's another base I got at the dollar store. I believe it's like seven and seven and a half inches tall. And then this is from the 99 cent plus store. And it was actually a candle holder that we are using as a vase. And I left the tag on so you can kind of see it um, when you're shopping at the 99 cent store because they don't have um, a website. Again, you can pick any sizes you would like. I'm just using these sizes. Don't worry about trying to remember all of these um, supplies you need because they are in our description down below. Okay, next you will need extra fine glitter. I like to use extra fine because it looks more professional. Then we have our Mod Podge and our clear gloss acrylic. We have our painter's tape that doesn't stick to the, the uh, glitter, nor does it leave uh, tape residue on your glass. And finally, a three-fourths brush. And that's all you need. So are we ready for this very quick and easy project? And you come back in about two shakes, and we'll get started with our first step. See you soon. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with step one. So for this one, I'm just gonna show you how to do the, the basic glass tumbler. Very, very simple. You just need to decide how many glitter stripes you want. Uh, I'm gonna show you two, but of course, I just give you the plan and then you take it and run with it, all right? So we're gonna take our tape and I want the, um, the bottom part to show. So I'm gonna first tape that off. Just go around. Simple, it's easy to maneuver. And the, the reason I do these videos is because I want everyone to see just how easy it is to do it. Just takes a little, some little time, a little practice. Oh, can't find my scissors, so I'm just gonna tear it. Don't recommend that, find your scissors, please. <laughs> so, there we go. So I'm just taped off the end. You can fold it down if you want, doesn't really matter. All right, so that means that glass part will show. So now I'm going to decide where I want my stripe to end, and I'm gonna to try to go right center. So wherever the blue tape is will be glass, and then everything else will be glitter. And the key to the blue tape is just to try to make sure you have the same amount of space open um, from each, above the tape and below the tape, but above the tape and below the tape, okay? So I'm just gonna work that around. Because it's, it's a cylinder figure, it's very difficult to get it absolutely perfect. But this is not about perfection. This is about making memories. This is about having and setting the tone at your event to make some wonderful memories. That's what this is all about, not perfection. All right, so I have my tape on there. And now I'm ready for my next step. So go ahead and get your tape going and then we'll go to our next step. I'll see you in a minute. All right, so let's get started on the next step. So you have your brush, you have your Mod Podge, you have 
your extra fine gold glitter or whatever color glitter you would like. And then of course, you know, I'm always trying to recycle, reuse, and refurbish. So I'm reusing just a top off of one of my mason jar projects to hold my brush in. Just one of those little things that makes it a lot easier. So let's get started. For this, use a piece of white, basically printer paper, and I'm gonna show you why. It's a really cool trick to do all of your glitter work on top of. So I would strongly suggest if this is your first time doing this kind of a project, that you take a little section at a time, that you do not try to paint the whole stripe at once. It's okay if it gets on the blue tape, it won't glue it, seal it, it'll be fine. So just go a little bit at a time. And then take your glitter. And I always put it on like the, the circles. I don't put it on the full thing because it just comes out too fast. And then you're just going to hold it. And this is one of those times where being right handed is kind of a pain. But you're just going to sprinkle it on there and turn it and sprinkle it. Okay. And all your excess will fall on your lovely white paper. And I'll show you how to get all that glitter back in that bottle because that's a whole project right there. Okay. So you just keep going. It's okay if your Maj Podge gets on the glitter part you just finished. That's okay. No big deal. Take your glitter and sprinkle some more. Like so excess and you just continue that all the way around. So I'm going to do mine, you do yours, and I'll see you back here in two shakes. All right. Okay, so you have gotten super, super sparkly. All the sparkles, okay? And you have gone ahead and got all of your area glitter. Now, if you feel a spot that doesn't have a little glitter on it, you can still kind of manipulate the glitter and the glue and put some there. Not a problem. So you're gonna let this dry for 30 minutes to an hour. And then after the 30 minutes or an hour are up, you're going to spray it with the high gloss coating, right? And it dries very, very fast, like within 30 minutes. So within in 30 minutes, it'll dry and you will be able to um, rub it, nothing's coming off, or you can't tell because I've got glitter on my hands from glittering, um, but it, it'll just give it, um, it'll seal it for you and you can use it. Um, you're supposed to be able to wash it, it's supposed to be water resistant. I don't necessarily believe that, but if you like to try it, that's fine. So you'll have all of that done and you'll be ready to either put your flowers in it or whatever you would like in it. So I'm going to come back in a minute and I'm going to set the table. But before I do that, let me show you how you can save this wonderful glitter for another day. So you just twist the top off like so. And you make a nice little funnel and funnel it right back into your bottle. And guess what? You have glitter to glitter another day. So come right back and I'm gonna show you how I put some other Dollar Tree things together to set the table for this royal baby shower. I'll see you in a few, bye. All right, so right before we set the table, I am going to show you how to go ahead and turn this wonderful vase you just created into a lovely centerpiece. We're gonna add some carnations and some little babies, roses. So I just wanna show you just, you know, that it's not, don't be scared of it. It's not difficult. You're just, I put some greenery in there first and I just bought this at the local grocery store. So if you don't have um, uh, access to a wholesale florist, you can just go to your local gro grocer and you can order flowers from them. These, this, these um, flowers cost right at, for all of them, cost right at eight to $10 because they're, they're little bundles. Uh oh, that wasn't good. There we go. So all I do is load them in. I usually do one color at a time and then build from there. And I'm really just showing this to you so you know that you can do it too. If I can do it, you can do it, trust me. I'm just gonna keep loading it in. And I usually work from the outside in. Just 
on the outside in. And now I'm going to switch it and do another color. It's two different color pink carnations. And then I bought some little rosebuds. Wow, it's really nice. And I think this is going to be a beautiful table setting for their royal baby shower. I can only imagine. And he has already sent me the next project, which is please help my wife to create this sweets and treats table. So I'm going to be working on that next week for them. I love, love, love helping you bring your visions to fruition. Okay, so now I'm just going to add some red roses. And you see, all I'm doing is building it out from the inside out. I'm sorry, from the outside in, rather. Just rearrange them. You don't like them, guess what you can do? Pull them all out and start over. It's really that simple. Don't ever let this intimidate you. It doesn't need to. When you see you want more color, just fill in more color. All right, so when we come back, I am going to step outside and we're going to set the table for this royal baby shower. All right, I'll see you in a few. Bye. So we're back. I just want you to see how this beautiful royal baby shower centerpiece sets up. Um, I also want to show you how I just use some little gold doilies underneath each centerpiece. Uh, a pack of 12 cost about a dollar and 39 cents from the 99 cent plus store. Everything you see on this table was purchased from the dollar store, from the uh, glass plates. Um, this is actually the silver plastic silverware. And I have some cloth uh, napkins. Now those are kind of a find. You have to kind of really search for those. And underneath each plate, I put a pink doily underneath just to add some color to the table. So I hope you like this week's segment and I hope you will come back next week when we will tackle the sweets and treats table, some things to go for that. And if you like this, please like this video, comment, tell me if I can help you with anything. Of course, if you have a project, please post it on our Facebook or our MissPlanet.com website. And I would love, love, love to help you plan your next um, event to help you make memories. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and there's one more, oh, Pinterest. So until next week, happy DIYing. Oh, and remember, when every penny counts, count on this planet. Thanks, guys. Bye.